explain grades in Moodle. One of the best features of Moodle, in my opinion, is the way it can manage all of the assignments for a module. The feature that I would like to highlight today is the flexibility in how a grade can be displayed to a student. Traditionally, students are used to getting a mark. It could be a mark out of 10 or 20, but most likely they're used to getting percentage marks. However, providing exact marks to students can sometimes distract students insofar as they pay more attention to the mark that they receive instead of the feedback provided with that mark. Therefore, sometimes it's better just to provide a representation of the mark. The typical student is familiar with A, B and C, but in college you may use the terminology pass, merit and distinction, or another representation that's used quite a lot is quite simply a pass or a fail, a pass or resubmission required. In Moodle, the terminology to distinguish between these two examples is grades for the marks and scales or letters for representation of the marks. Before moving on, I would like to point out that as you will see from the examples above, scales or letters can be one letter, one word, or indeed several words. The choice is up to you. Let's distinguish between Moodle scales and Moodle letters. We will use the mark representation of fail, pass, merit and distinction to illustrate this difference. If we created this scale in Moodle with four points, fail, pass, merit and distinction, Moodle would automatically take the mark the lecture provides and map it to the scale. In a four point scale, the marks are split in blocks of 25%. So any mark between 0 and 24 is mapped to the first point, between 25 and 49 is mapped to the second, and so on. In a three-point scale, the marks are split in blocks at 33%. Letters, on the other hand, give the lecturer an awful lot more control. Taking the same four points, fail, pass, merit and distinction, a lecturer can decide that a fail is anything below 50%, a pass is between 50 and 65, and between 65 and 80 is a merit, and a distinction 85 and 100, and so on. So in that respect, letters in Moodle can be more useful. There is one drawback, however. In one Moodle course, you can have several scales but you can only have one set of letters. An additional benefit is Moodle's memory when it comes to scales and letters. If we use a course with four assignments for this example, the lecture provides a mark and Moodle converts the mark into either a fail, pass, merit or distinction and displays this to the student, but crucially does not display the mark provided. However, Moodle remembers the mark the lecturer gave. This is important because Moodle will use the individual marks from each assignment to calculate the end of semester results. In addition to piecing all the bits of the jigsaw together, Moodle can also weight the assignments and therefore removing a big calculation headache for the lecturer at the end of the, uh, the semester. I hope you found this short clip useful and please check out liutv.dcu.ie for more videos in this series that will show you how to create scales and customise the Moodle letters on your course.